We're taking on the whole enchilada, an iconic 8,000 foot descent in Moab. And if anything can go wrong, it will. Well, I broke a rim. My derailleur is definitely dead. Where the f is the trail? Nevertheless, we're dead set on conquering this trail and crossing it off our bucket list. Right next to the cliff. Can we have our enchilada and eat it too? Come along and find out. <laughs> It's 7 a.m. in Utah, and we have a big day ahead of us. To kick things off, we're taking an hour-long shuttle into the mountains. Ahead of us lies 45 kilometers of epic trail with 2,300 meters of descent from Alpine back to town. Wakey, wakey. Uh, we're here. Uh, five more minutes. We're doing the whole enchilada. Enchilada? My watch says at... 3,200 meters of elevation. And we're gonna go all the way down, back into Moab. My dad is also along for the ride, checking off a bucket list trail at the spry age of 70. Like most trails, to get to the descent, there's a climb. And this climb is absolutely breathtaking. No, seriously, I can hardly breathe up here. It's harder up here. Is it just me? Like, I feel funny. Yeah. Like, we've had some early rides of this trip, but I've never felt this out of it. The air is definitely thin. Unfortunately, a lack of oxygen is not our only problem. I've just realized I should have charged my derailleur battery. It's dead. So I'll swap it from my seat post and I'll have no dropper today. Murphy's Law, man, up here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah, well, if that's our biggest problem today, I think we'll be okay. Well, if we can survive this climb. All right, so viewers at home, if you want to experience what we're feeling, just start holding your breath for 45 seconds, sprint, and then spin around five times while closing your eyes. Finally, we're at the top, and it's all downhill from here. There's a lot of climbing still. You're probably at a thousand feet total over the ride. It climbs out when you get to town. Yeah, can you ride the road back? <laughs> well, that sounds like a problem for future us because all I see is amazing downhill single track. This is sick. It kind of feels like we're in Whistler. It's weird. <laughs> I guess what I mean is that with this level of craftsmanship, this trail might as well be in a bike park. Whoa! A couple of rocks there. Stop kicking rocks into my way. Oh! Oh my god, it's sketchy. If you wake up the sweat just after midnight With a figure of love stand over you Don't let her fool you with those dark eyes She's a child of the devil through and through She'll take you on No massive jumps, no heinous drops, no death-defying clips, no worries. This is single track at its finest. And it's amazing how quickly a good bit of trail can wash away all your problems and fatigue. Or maybe I spoke too soon. Well, I broke a rim. No. <laughs> well, 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 what did I tell ya? Anyone recall what I said about one hour ago? Murphy's Law, man, up here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shit happens. And after an unfortunate encounter with a sharp rock going mock chicken, this wheel is toast. And if you run Bond Trigger wheels like us, they have a carbon care program that covers situations like this. Getting a replacement is as easy as visiting any Trek dealer. But anyways, let's make a move. Wow, the forest here is awesome. You don't get to see trees like these much at home. So far, this trail is full of surprises. You never know what you'll see. How does a cow get up here? <laughs> Good day. Not much of uh, talkers, huh? Well, I'll just get out of your hair. A couple dozen corners later, and we've left the Aspens for a totally different landscape. I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. Classic Utah mesas over there. They got lush green farms over there. Uh, more rocky stuff, some mountains, some cows, more lush green fall colors. 
and some more cows. Freaking amazing. Usually I'd be chasing Jason down the trail, but since he's in safety mode, I'll chase after my dad. These little hits that you don't expect here. Nice burns, dude. I don't know what's wrong with me lately, but I keep forgetting to bring stickers everywhere I go. But I have lots of business cards. <laughs> if you see those, take a picture and send it to us, please. We have been riding for a long time, and if I'm not mistaken, we are still higher than if I was standing at the top of Whistler Mountain right now, which is crazy because I'm getting tired. It's starting to lose focus on the trails. Still somehow managing to ride down this with one hand though. Hey, what's the plane trying to be? We've traded forest for desert, and though we might be getting tired, the ever-changing landscape is keeping us going. <laughs> This is crazy. You can see through this rock. Bye bye. Insane. Absolutely insane. Oh, right next to the cliff. Jesus. Yeah, this is definitely one of those don't look down sections. But I'm gonna look down. Oh! No thanks, that's as close as I wanna go. That's cliffy. Aside from the cliffs, this part of the ride is relatively mellow, which has our minds wandering. I'm getting hungry, and all I can think about is a freaking enchilada. Why do they need to name it that? With thoughts of Mexican delicacies swirling in our minds, we're pushing on and hopefully our low blood sugar won't affect any future decision making. So we are now at a fork in the road. We have to choose between the notch or LPS. The beginning of LPS looks pretty gnarly here, but it's a single black diamond. Going straight, it's a double black. I've never heard of the notch. All right, the jury has voted for the notch. Hopefully this is not a huge mistake. Notch, here we go. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, it looks so nasty. It looks extremely difficult. <laughs> oh, and there's like scrap wood and rebar sticking out the bottom. Now this is a double black feature you don't want to just bumble down, but it would be rude not to try it. I think it's broken. Oh, the walk of shame. Sorry, YouTube audience. Well, here goes nothing. At least if I fall, the rusty metal and rotten wood will cushion the blow. <laughs> ah, whatever. <laughs> I don't like it. It's gonna try to forget about that forever. That was an epic fail. Let's see if there's any more double blackness on this. Oh, can I hop on this? Oh! Whoa! Almost had her. With a shot of adrenaline courtesy of the notch, I'm feeling refreshed and ready for more. Although I could do without the exposure. Straight to the edge. Now what's beside me? What's to my right? Uh, nothing, just uh, flat ground. Well, I guess it is flat, but it's a long way down. Technical, dangerous, cactus-lined, and hot as heck. Are we at the enchilada yet? I swear, I could eat just about anything right now. Ooh, that sucks. That's gotta be like 15 calories right there. Well, almost anything. I'll pass on the worm. Cruise control on. We're taking our time through these sections, 
soaking up the views and making sure Jason's wheel stays intact, which is now making some very concerning noises. Oh. We're in a scenic spot, so I thought I might as well do a wheel update. Um, it's looking a bit worse. Slowly but surely it's coming across. And uh, we are no longer very true. It's been about 30 kilometers since I broke it, and uh, it's still rolling. So hopefully it's got like 20-ish more in it. At some point, the trail has turned from single track into fire road? Hit the drop! We know how to have a good time on any terrain, but this, well, it kind of sucks. <sighs> oh, look, and another section of uphill. Here it is, downhill. Please be sustained. Oh shit, my derailleur is definitely dead. So I got the best gear ever for this. Murphy's Law, man, up here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And downhill's over. <laughs> it's safe to say our mood has officially turned. All right, it's time. What? The final bar. Oh no. <laughs> one more bar? One more bar. Um, I think I got one more. Yeah, I got one more. Nice. And a sticker. Can we eat it? Uh, there's probably some caloric value in that. Okay, it's 146, and we have 5.7 miles to go. Oh. Nice. We have, wait, what? No. We got 8.1 miles or 13 kilometers to Porcupine Rim single track. And then from there, oh no, no, no. Yeah, is that it? What? I'm confused. A few inches later. Okay, we rode away from the sign, which was like, felt like 10 minutes ago. I just checked trail forks and it says 18 kilometers to go. <laughs> but the trail forks shows like a steady downhill. <laughs> We're looking at it know. upside down. Because <laughs> this is pointed up. Oh, great. Just more of this sweet downhill that Trail Fork says we're riding on. We have been what feels like climbing for a really long time now. Oh, the miles are getting to us. But I'm hopeful that pretty soon here we're gonna make it around the corner up that hill and then be going downhill for quite a ways. I don't know, or maybe we'll just keep going uphill and we'll run out of water. Jason's wheel will explode and we'll all start eating hallucinogenic cacti out here. That would probably, probably be better for the video. Okay, this might truly be some downhill for a while. We're tired, hungry, and dehydrated, but we're keeping it light and having fun. Now we're in a totally different landscape. I see something spicy. I'm so afraid to die. Keep oh, baby, I can see the highway. With the end in sight, we might as well throw carbon caution to the wind and let her buck. I'm feeling dizzy, my brain needs to show these twisted thoughts. Oh, shit. <laughs> spooky. I'm not sure why Utah trails always seem to hug cliffs, but it's seriously giving me the heebie-jeebies. Oh good, one last spicy feature. It's not like we're tired or anything. We're almost done. We're just enjoying the cold rock until my dad catches up so we can all roll out and complete the trail together. After facing numerous challenges and setbacks, it seems like we might actually finish this thing. I can practically smell the enchilada. I can hardly ride in a straight line. And there you have it, one enchilada, 
extra spicy. 45 kilometers ridden, seven hours and 25 minutes riding, 581 meters climbed. We are now at 1245 meters of elevation and we started at like 32. It's like 2000 meters of descending, which is insane. I love your YouTubes. Oh, thanks. Now you're in it. This will be your favorite one. You know how we feel, but what did my dad think? It was awesome. In a very demanding way. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely leaking. But... Oh my god. But uh, the straightness report is not good. Oh. Still rolls? That's crazy. All right, before I lose all strength. Yeah, we did it. Oh, Bucket did list. It. Sure. Ugh. Good job. Good job, guys, for watching. <laughs> we did it, guys. We made it to the end screen. Check out all our new merch at maholamidude.com and sign up for our newsletter where we give away free stickers all the time.